Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Adventure SG. So let's do another interesting word problem on whole numbers. Let's read the question first. Betty wants to make 20 identical bracelets and 36 identical necklaces using beads. She has made 18 bracelets and 10 necklaces using 480 beads. The number of beads she used for 5 necklaces is same as that for 7 bracelets. Now part A, part A of the question is how many bracelets can be made with the same number of beads used to make 10 necklaces and part B is find the total number of beads Betty will need to make the remaining bracelets and necklaces. Okay quite a long uh, question and how do we do it? So for this one right uh, we need to write equations right if you are wondering what is equation you, you will know in a while but for before Right. I want to uh, just introduce that whenever I write bracelet, right, bracelet, it it means uh, I will be writing bracelet uh, with B. It means whenever I meant to write bracelet, I will write B instead. And for necklace, and for necklace, so you can guess it should be. And because it's the initials, right. Why I'm doing is that I want to uh, keep my uh, thing short right so that I can write it quickly okay now what do I have here is that 18 bracelets and 10 necklaces use 480 beads okay so how do I write it okay how, how do I write in uh, this information in a form of equation so I can write it like this see 18 bracelets which I will write as B plus 10 necklaces which I will write as 10 N equals to 480 what does it mean it means that uh, in order to make 18 identical bracelets and 10 identical necklaces betty has already used 480 beads so that's our equation one okay now what's the other information we have here we have that the number of beads required to make five necklaces is same as that of the number of beads required to make seven bracelets that means how can we write that that means five five necklaces right the number of beads required to make five necklaces is same as what is required to make ten mm, not ten it's seven okay seven bracelets right so yeah this is how I represent I write my equation two okay now what is my part a of the question it asks for how many bracelets can be made with the same number of beads used to make 10 necklaces okay 10 here what do we have we already know that the number of beads required to make five necklaces is same as what is required to make seven bracelets so it's very straightforward right we can make five necklace to 10 very easily how just multiply this number by two right so let's do that so if you multiply this number by 2 you will get 10 right 10 necklace and then obviously this side also you have to multiply right we have to do the same operation on both sides so you will get 14 right so what do we get that means the number of beads required to make 10 necklaces is same as the number of beads required to make 14 bracelets so here we got the part a right answer for a part a of the question right so answer is 14 b that means 14 bracelets okay now for part b we have to find out find the total number of beads betty will need to make remaining bracelets and necklaces how many bracelets and necklaces she wanted to make she wanted to make 20 identical bracelets and 36 identical necklaces out of 20 bracelets she already made 18 out of 26 uh, 36 necklaces she has already made 10 necklaces so we have to make only remaining we just need to find out how many beads are required uh, to make remaining number of bracelets and necklaces but before we can do so we need to find out how many beads are required to make one bracelet and one necklace okay one bracelet and one necklace so how do we find that okay if you look at this equation equation one okay and this one the last sentence right this one you you will find something common see here or here also in the equation one we have 10 n and here also we have 10 n 
right and then n we know is equal to 14 b so what we can do we can we can in place of 10 n here we can write 14 b and that is called substituting the value okay what we are doing whatever the value of 10 n is here we are substituting it with 14 b right so basically use you either you can say we can say that this is my equation 3 and you can write here using using equation 3 right what we are going to do is we can write we are going to rewrite it the equation 1 18 b plus then in place of 10 n i'm going to write 14 b that's all i'm doing okay in place of 10 n here i'm going to write 14 b why i can do this i can do this because they are same there is a equal to sign here right so that should be equal to 480 now 18 bracelets plus 14 bracelets will give me how many 32 bracelets right 32 bracelets is requires how many beads 480 so one bracelet will require how many beads 480 divided by 32 okay divided by let's write 32 please bit more nicely yeah right so one bracelet is how many beads one bracelet is equal to 15 beads that means we require we need 15 beads to make one bracelet so now we have found how many beads are needed to make one bracelet right here now we also need to find out how many beads are required to make one necklace right so how do we do that now we, we are going to use this one we know that seven bracelets right the number of beads required to make seven bracelet is same as what five necklaces right so let's first find out how many beads are required to make seven bracelets so that later we can equate it to 5n right because the number of beads is same so one bead one bracelet is 15 beads so seven bracelets will be seven times 15 right and uh, that will give me 105 okay that means seven bracelets require seven bracelets requires 105 beads and we know the number of beads required for seven bracelets and five necklaces is same so we can replace in place of 7b now we can write what 5n which is five necklaces the number of beads required to make five necklaces will be also same which is 105 so one necklace will be 105 divided by 5 that will give me 21 that means one necklace is 21 right now equipped with this information that now we know one bracelet requires 15 beads and one necklace requires 21 beads right we can find out how many beads are required to make remaining bracelets and necklaces right for that we need to find out how many more how many more bracelets and necklaces we need to make right so out of 20 bracelets how many betty has already made 18 right so we require to make two more right so uh, we can write it like okay 20 bracelets are were required but she already made 18 so we are left only with she needs to make only two more bracelets and we know that one bracelet is 15 right one bra bracelet require bracelet require 15 beads so two bracelets would be two times 15 that will give me 30 that means two bracelets requires 30 beads okay now we we have we also need to find out how many beads require are required to make remaining number of necklaces so how many more necklaces are required so she he she needed to make 36 necklace out of which she has already made 10 so that means she still needs to go for 30 26 necklaces 36 minus 10 will give me 26 and we know one necklace requires 21 beads right so 26 necklaces will require 26 times 21 right and uh, that will give me uh, okay so 26 times 21 will give me 546 
beads okay so 26 necklaces will require 546 two bracelets will require 30 so what is the total number of beads required to make remaining bracelet and necklaces it's so 2b plus 26n will be 30 30 plus 546 that will give me 576 right so betty betty needs another 576 beads to make remaining bracelets and necklaces right so let's write down our answer quickly so part a she she will be able to she is able to make 14 bracelets right with the same number of beads as uh, the number of beads used to make 10 necklaces right so it's bracelets and for part B, she needs 576 beads in order to make remaining number of bracelets and necklaces. So that's the solution of this question. Hope you liked it. Keep watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.